Um, I'm Grace. I am Tom. I'm Valencia. And we are the co-founders of Friendzone. Friendzone started in 2018 as an initiative to bring young people who live in the same neighborhood together to make new friends. That's why we're called Friendzone, because we hope to create zones of friendship. We are not a dating event or agency, um, but we just thought that it would be meaningful to create spaces for people to come and talk to each other and form new connections. I think what inspired us to start Friendzone was our life in campus. Like we had a very rich uh, young adult youth community with each other. Like Grace was my neighbour, uh, Tam lived in the block next to us. Uh, and then you can just walk along the corridor and knock on your neighbour's door and then like, hey, you all want to wait your ice cream? And then sad uh, about my life today. I, I think one of the things I miss the most about school life was knowing the people who live around me. Mm. Last time I'll be like, hey, hello, like how, how was? Like lesson for you, like how, what, what's going on today. But when I am back home, I feel this barrier between me and even another young person in the lift or the lift lobby. And it's, it's kind of sad yeah, that, that we are so distant here, we are so close. So we started Friendzone because we wanted to create more opportunities for these friendships to come alive um, and for people to feel that their neighbourhood was a place where they had friends and it was a community for them, not just a place that they went home to um, and didn't know anyone who lived around them. Three, two, one. The, the basis of friendship is an exchange. It could be all the way transactional. I mean, that could be friendship. Uh, but then it could also be an exchange of ideas. It could be an exchange of like, emotional connections and, and that is also friendship but I think like maybe connection but yeah I picked like this like exchange of things or sometimes intangible things. Um, so I wrote that it's someone that I feel like I can be real with like you don't have to put up pretense or you don't have to try to be someone you're not um, and then another one is anchor like I think when I think of my friends they are anchors in my life for different phases of my life or uh, different aspects and uh, dimensions of my life friends and friendships are the things that help keep us what are you doing? I'm trying an anchor <laughs> <laughs> okay definitely the more visual one in the group yes um, yeah to anchor you through storms and joys in life okay yeah I chose dimensions because it is a thing that can encompass many things. I guess friendships aren't so straightforward. Like you have some friends who you purely just can connect with on like a fun, nonsensical, like your great chemistry way, but you don't really have very substantial conversations. Um, then there are some friendships where you have very deep, meaningful conversations, people who you've journeyed with throughout your whole life or through different seasons, whereas you have like acquaintancy friends, right? So I think there's just a lot of different dimensions to the idea of friendship also, because um, there's elements of care, there's elements of reciprocity and exchange that people that you can connect with on some dimensions of your life but just disagree with on others and that's also okay so I guess that's why I chose dimensions yeah. when I was um, young and then every time I enter a new environment like a new school my dad always reminds me that maybe ev everyone actually already wants to be your friend yeah so I always just go in the mindset that everyone wants to be my friend and hi I'm here to be your friend and you are here to be my friend. Um, yeah, that has helped me make friends in school. <laughs> I realised that most young people, we don't have our lives figured out, but then sometimes we are very afraid to say that. Mm -hmm.